Hi friends, uh, today we are going to see about Visual Studio Code Editor. So it have lot many options and uh, we can customize by ourselves. So, so what is Visual Studio Code? So Visual Studio Code is a lightweight uh, but powerful source code editor. Uh, the editor can be downloaded from code.com visualstudio.com you can download from here see here you have for mac os windows and linux so minus windows 64 bit i just click on download it will start to download immediately so i have already installed just i cancel it so i have installed already so let me go and search for it click on start see here visual studio code okay while opening our uh, code editor it will come with welcome screen so just i am opening new folder so open folder I am just opening class verb. So here my new folder by listing. So I don't want this. So we have here activity bar. So here we see explorer. So explorer means just we can open a whole folder for editing the content. So here we have four icons. So this is for creating new file. Just clicking by it. Just I am creating contact us dot html. Just by pressing just enter it was created. Okay I can create new folder also. Just clicking on here. I can just create a folder I can just create folder by clicking on this icon so I just give plugin as my folder name now the folder have been created so I can create new file by clicking on plugin folder just click on new file just I am giving index dot HTML. So inside this plugin, this index.html file will be placed. Okay, this is for uh, refreshing the explorer files and folders. Just we can refresh. And this is for collapse. Collapse means if I click this, means it will open us so for that purpose. This icon. So our Visual Studio Code Editor is very simple and easy to use. And we have uh, many options also. Let me see search. Search in the sense I can search for HTML. Okay. It is coming where and all HTML is placed in our files. Okay. Then I can replace it very simply with just I am giving an example. I am just uh, replacing HTML with uh, some other text. So it's very easy to replace. Then I don't want to replace. Okay, then I am just clicking here. And then the third icon is source control icon. The source control icon is used to manage our project with Git. By... Uh, by installing git so we can manage our source code in git okay next run this run is for debugging okay uh, our source code editor comes with the debugging feature uh, we can set breakpoints in your uh, program to find where our issue is coming from okay then the most powerful extensions 
extension means we can add new extensions basically come with the uh, html css javascript like that and all you can add more extensions like uh, if you want to do python programming you just add python as extension by giving this it will list out what are what are the extensions where okay i just clicking python extended okay here in this details option see i was currently in details menu only so how to use this particular extension all those things will be given under details as just angular when i giving angular it will come the lot many options okay i just clicking here so angular snippets were open see in details tab all the details of this particular extension have been given here how to use and also feature contributions features are all given in this tab okay before installing the particular extension you just go through the detail section whether this particular extension suits to your need okay how to install how to launch code all the shortcuts were given how to use this particular class all those details will be given in, in the details section if i want to add a bootstrap just type bootstrap you will be listed with many options i am just clicking bootstrap 4 this is for font avsm and bootstrap three snippets this time clicking here see in details i am having the options like if i want to add button just i can use this particular class okay just i am clicking install it will be installed with our with our editor so i have installed if i don't want this i just click on uninstall everything is quite easy and quite fast that's the good things of vs code editor now i want to change the theme so if i want to change the theme just click on settings okay settings the settings bar will be open in the top search option search settings you just click and type theme see here we have color theme uh, color customization okay like this and all i don't want those things just i am selecting default light and my favorite is default high contrast so just i am selecting theme that's all simply we have selected the theme if i want to select uh, if i want to change the tab space or uh, normally tab space comes with four space the tab control comes with four space if i want to change i can change see for tab size just click on tab size so it will come i just change four to two Okay, it will be pretty nice. Then again, I can change font also. So font family, okay, font size, font weight. I can change to a bigger font and all. So these are the options which we can edit by ourselves. That's why. a vs code editor is much more popular see i just creating a new html file by clicking on file icon just i am giving index.html okay the file have been opened so now we going to create a new website so here you don't want to give this symbol and all 
okay by clicking on html it will show you the list of options just i am selecting html5 see all the all those things which is mainly for making structure of a website is is placed here okay i just creating a css file okay by clicking here i have already created one uh, style.css this time creating another one style1.css okay now both files were opened in this panel okay i can split it by clicking on the icon split editor right okay just i am clicking here so it have splitted so i don't want style1 here so style1.css is placed in one side and index.html is placed in left hand side just i want to create one paragraph welcome text then i want to give one uh, ul li okay li inside li just i'm giving demo one then li demo two then li demo 3 just i'm giving just i'm giving these details now our index.html file okay here is our result so welcome text demo 1 demo 2 demo 3 okay let me add style let me create some styles for this index.html uh, initially i am just giving style for p okay text decoration is underline and then text transform is to uppercase and then text align center just i gave this now you see text uh, style now you see style1.cs is created separately and index.html is created separately so i want to link these two on dot link okay this file css file is found under css folder and then style1.css just save and go to the browser and refresh now the text paragraph text okay this paragraph text welcome text is come with the styles which we have mentioned in the style sheet okay now again i want to add javascript okay i can add here so I just add sample.js okay by clicking on the folder and clicking on new file sample.js now sample.js is open here I just giving alert okay welcome And then we, we want to give semicolon save it so in order to link with our html file see one more thing here I, I i can see this in two tab so this was small file so no problem if i am uh, i'm working with the big file means i can split it out again see by using this icon you can split by two i mean you can split as left portion and right portion in order to split top and bottom i want to split uh, horizontally means just go to the view and editor layout and you can uh, you can select here split down 
So this sample dot js is split it down. Okay, I hope you catch my point. Now I am going to. Sorry. So I am going to link this js file with our HTML file. So script script with src. So I am going to to I am going to give source. So source is in js folder sample dot js. Okay, I'm just giving save and for style save and save here. Now see it comes with alert box which we have given in JS file. If you like this video, click on like button. If you have any doubts and queries, you just put your queries in, in our comment box. Still, you not subscribe, you just click on subscribe button and don't forget to press on bell button. Thank you so much for watching.